These people are dying of cancer. Unlike most cancer patients in India, they have access to drugs that make their last days bearable. The frustration is not about people dying. The frustration comes in when people die with needless suffering. There is a cheap, effective and easy solution, morphine. But the Indian government's restrictive drug policies keep most people from getting it, and few doctors know how to administer it. We have the means with us, we have the drugs, it's not a question of resources. Inexpensive morphine produced in India is there, and the people suffer. Dr. Rajagopal is one of a group of doctors who've championed pain relief in India through NGOs and private clinics. We run an inpatient facility and an outpatient facility in this hospital. We also have several home care units who go out into the community and see patients who are too sick to come to the hospital. <laughs> Palliative care is really the missing link in the development of medicine in the last half century. There's a lot of technology coming in. What was lacking was the humane face of medicine. The desperate attempts to cure and to prolong life at all costs can actually result in human suffering. Most of India's regional cancer centers don't offer palliative care, even though 70% of their patients have incurable cancer. They don't have morphine or doctors trained to administer it. Hyderabad's cancer hospital is one of the exceptions. It's not so complicated. Any, uh, if you have a base, some basic training, anybody can take care of them. Not providing pain relief is a violation of the right to health. Governments have an obligation to make sure that essential medicines, like morphine, are available. The government of India has to come out with their policy, like has happened in many Western countries. The developing countries, like India, need palliative care even more than Western countries because they are the extent of the suffering is so enormous. This is the right time. It is late, if anything. We have to persuade the government to integrate palliative care into routine medical practice.